All right, guys, welcome back. So, like I told you, I have on the show with me today Nollywood actress Meg Tanwa. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you made it! Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much for coming, despite all the challenges for, you know, Thank this you. is Nicholas. <laughs> Thank, so right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming. So, Meg Otamu, for those who don't know, is a Nollywood actress, and you've been in the industry for how many years? Four years now. Four years. Yes. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Since you've been in the industry for the past four years, mm -hmm. how has it been for you? Um, has it, I know you said it hasn't been easy, but mm -hmm. you know, what, what has the growth been like? Are you, are you happy with where you are right now, or what's the situation like? Um, yeah, I'm actually very grateful to God, because there are people I remember starting up with, starting out with, mm -hmm. and... You know, some of them just stopped. They just couldn't see through that. Or because trust me, the process, mm. those open auditions. Oh Lord, oh, I know. It took the way you thought. <laughs> I know. I, I was. I know. So I know what you're talking about. Every day, like yes. we looked forward to it because for us, those were like our interviews. Mm -hmm. You want to get a job? Oh, you go for an interview right. and then you try to struggle. Did it ever get tiring? Like nothing, nothing was happening. Like you'd go for maybe like three or four, and you'd never get a call back. Not quite. Oh, it okay. didn't get tiring because they were often productive. Because mm. I felt like it encouraged me. Because mm -hmm. I would go for an audition, I would get feedback from the judges. Mm -hmm. Most times, positive. Of course, I got a few no's. Right. Trust me, no. <laughs> where I used they to come. Get they come with them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it was very encouraging because I would get feedbacks, positive feedbacks. I'm like, because I didn't go to school to become. I didn't study theater after mm -hmm. school. So for me, that was, you know, the confirmation I needed that I have something to offer. Mm. That is why I'm grateful to God that I went through that process. Mm -hmm. And and I'm even more grateful to God to for where I'm, I'm at now because mm. there are those who just couldn't continue and then they went back to, to their you know regular right. jobs right. and they just picked up other things to do because it was very frustrating oh, wow. but God saw me through I you know got some I booked some very good jobs and, yes. and I just kept growing right know? and I still hope and I'm praying to God to you know keep growing to continue to grow and, get, get know, better get to that exactly. right right all right so talking about big projects that you've worked on mm -hmm. one of the biggest projects i think uh, meg has worked on is titled is a tv series mm -hmm. titled before 30 was produced by nemsha studios yes. tell us a little bit about your character in, i thought it was amazing it featured damin lola debit uh, at all yeah, yeah bev Nanaya, um, OC UKJ was in it as well. So tell us a little bit about your character in Before 30. Okay, um, in Before 30, I play the character called Aisha, mm -hmm. Aisha Shetima. Um, she's the married of the four girls. And, you know, it's funny how when you're on one side, you think it's rosy and all sweet on the other side. Mm -hmm. But for her, this character, she's the one on the other side. Like mm -hmm. all her friends, they are struggling and doing everything it takes to be on that on her side mm. and she's there she's looking at them like really are you guys sure you want to come over to this side <laughs> you know but she she is a very sweet person um as you see her in season one i'm not going to tell you anything about the aisha you get to see in season two because trust me aisha is coming here <laughs> okay two. so look okay. for aisha in season two yeah. have you filmed season two yet no, but we're working on it. It's going to be out okay. sometime early next year. Okay. We're working on season two right now. I have another very, um, I have a, a project I'm also very passionate about. Um, you're going to hear about it really, really soon. Um, it's actually titled Chibo Girls, Our Story. Oh, wow. It's a stage play directed by the phenomenal Wale Ogutokun. It stars Lili Bioma, um, Kainde Bankole, um, Rotimi, and actually... Three of the girls who escaped, the actual Chibok girls, oh. are going to be on stage with us wow. to tell their story. So it's it's something I'm very passionate That's about. That's huge, yeah. It's easy for us to be on this side and be hearing, you mm -hmm. know, be watching. TV yeah, and, and be TV reading TV, about it and all of that. It. But to see these girls and have them tell you mm -hmm. and describe to you mm -hmm. what they went through, it's just, it's mind-boggling, wow. actually. So yeah, so those are the projects i'm working on right now and i want you to really yeah, really support. really really huge <laughs> emotional projects and very important projects i might yeah. say you're very well done kudos <laughs> to you. you okay so 
one last word for your fans, mm-hmm. your lovers, actors, aspiring actors and mm-hmm. actresses who desire to, you know, get to where you are right now. Just okay. Last word for them. Um, to the fans, like, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you. You're the reason we do what we do. We do it, you know, so you can learn and appreciate. So thank you so much for having our backs. And for aspiring actors and actresses out there, work hard and your talent would speak for you. See, eh, if, you, if, you, if you guys have noticed the caliber of actors that I bring on this show, when I tell them, okay, one last word, they all end with something <laughs> that just makes me want to say amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. <laughs> that was very beautiful. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I really me. appreciate it. Thank you. So, remember guys, the show isn't over. I still have one more movie review for you. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. I don't see no someone around you. Besides, if I were that man, I would not leave you alone for even a second because of hawks like me. Better be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. If there's anything that history has taught us, is that having a dick and some testosterone doesn't always make a man a man. guys welcome back so the next movie i'll be talking to you about is of a nigerian nollywood movie titled misa and mrs onoja the movie was produced and directed by chibu ike ibe now the movie features blossom chuko Dweku and belinda efa and i'm giving this movie wait for it 1.5 over 5 are you shocked with Blossom in it. Yes, I'm in shock too. I had such high expectations when I was going to watch this film, but hey, I was left shattered emotionally <laughs> and disappointed. The movie tells the story of a particular guy named Ramsey, Ramsey, who was, um, you know, always taking women for granted. He never took them seriously. He did whatever he, want with them, whatever he wanted with them up until he encountered this particular lady and they dated for a few months well. After he broke up with her, she went cuckoo upstairs. Yeah, she went nuts. <laughs> so she went crazy on him and a, a, a series of events started taking place. Now, like I said, I'm giving the movie 1.5 over 5. I was so disappointed. The only thing that was good about it was that Blossom was casted in it. And then, you know, the sound was okay. The picture was all right. But that was about it. Number one, Belinda Efa. She needs to work on her acting skills. I mean, in this movie, she looks like she was delivering her lines. She, like, it was as if she was reciting it. Like, oh, really? Oh, oh my God. You know, it was so routine and rigid. And I was just like, okay, what is she doing? So she was not at the top of her game. Blossom Chuko Joeku as well was not at the top of his game. I mean, this is the very first time I will see Blossom overact. Being a player is one of the easiest roles, easiest character for any Nollywood actor to play. Ask Ramzi Noah, Yemeka Ike, uh, Desmond Elliott. They will tell you, you know, so for Blossom to play this character, I was just going to sit back and relax and just enjoy him do his thing. But no, he overacted. You know, he, he, being a boss was so, he, 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 he seemed like he was stressed. Like he was trying too hard. Like he was trying to compensate for, for whatever. I don't even know why he was trying to compensate for the film. I mean, the film wasn't great. The story wasn't great. And the dialogue was so weak. It had no depth whatsoever. The extras could not act to save their lives. I mean, they pulled the movie down even more. And then the story was unrealistic. It was far-fetched. They stretched it as far as possible up until the end. You would think they would stretch it to a point and then, oh, and then whatever, whatever, and they leave that play ever after, whatever. No, they stretched it to the limits. And I was just like, okay, what is going on here? You know, I mean, set design was all right. Makeup was all right. Costumes were all right. Like, it was just very, very uh, beneath my expectations, particularly because Blossom was in it. If you remember, in a prior episode, I talked to uh, myself and Foladele Falano. We reviewed a movie. We were talking about Alex Ekubo doing something similar that Blossom did in this movie that's featuring in a film that should have been above your, your, below your standard as an actor, as a particular class of an actor, if you understand what I'm saying. So I felt like Blossom shouldn't have been in this film. It wasn't worth him being in it. Overall, I did not enjoy this film. I thought it was um, a waste of my own time. So do I think you should watch it? Well, like I told you, I'm giving it a 1.5 over five. So really, you have to be very bored and extremely, 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 extremely jobless and very rich with data or money to go and buy 
watch it. But hey, at the end of the day, it is your decision, not mine. Me, I'm just giving you my opinion, okay? <laughs> All right, so the show isn't over. When we come back, I'm going to take you behind the scenes again of another film titled Out of Luck. This is a Ni Akimolayo film. Remember, yes, yes, Ni directed Falling. Yes, you're right. Well, it has another film and it's titled Out of Luck. And we went behind the scenes. We visited the sets, talked to the actors. It was such an experience. That's what I have up next for you, okay? So stay tuned. <laughs>